The abortion clinic at the center of the overturning of Roe v. Wade is moving from Mississippi to Las Cruces. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap spoke with the clinic. Shelby joins us tonight in the studio. Shelby. And Andy, I spoke with the director for that clinic in Jackson, Mississippi, and she tells me that one of the reasons that they are moving that clinic to Las Cruces is because there are only two abortion clinics in the area, as well as Las Cruces's proximity to El Paso, where there is an airport for women traveling from out of town. People don't realize that a lot of women have never left the state where they live. They don't, a lot of people have never been on a flight to go anywhere. A lot of people don't, you know, they've never booked a flight to go out of town to do things and and that's a scary thing. So we were trying to be somewhere that it wouldn't be hard for them to to get to us if they need to. Here you can see the Mississippi Clinic, the same clinic in the Dobbs versus Jackson Supreme Court case that led to the overturning of Roe v. Wade. The executive director for the clinic saying they will do surgical procedures in Las Cruces, something that isn't currently available in the area. Reasons for picking Las Cruces is because we knew that we anticipate a lot of patients who are going to need surgical procedures also. And our plans are to do um, medical procedures, surgical procedures, um, family planning, uh, birth control. Seeing an increase at the clinic in Mississippi since the overturning of Roe v. Wade, with only a few days left until abortion becomes illegal in the state. We have been trying to see patients every single day, and we have our patient load has almost doubled in these few days trying to see patients up until the last day. The Southwest Coalition for Life responding to the news of the Mississippi Clinic moving to Las Cruces. Sadly, we're not surprised that the abortion business at the center of the most controversial Supreme Court case of the last 50 years would choose to relocate to the state of New Mexico and specifically to Las Cruces, where there's less competition for them, meaning more financial profit in the state where abortion remains completely unregulated up to the day of birth. And Andy, you know, as we reported back earlier this week, the governor of New Mexico actually signed an executive order to protect women who travel from other states to New Mexico for an abortion, as well as protecting those providers who perform those abortions as well. Now, does the director of this clinic expect women maybe from other states to travel to New Mexico seeking an abortion? Yeah, that's actually exactly what she's expecting. She's saying there probably will be more, a bigger than of a demand than the abortion clinics can even handle here. Mm -hmm. She's saying she's already seeing, you know, that big increase in Mississippi and she's expecting the same for New Mexico. Yeah, New Mexico certainly finding itself in the middle of this overturning Shelby. Thank you very much.